What's going on everybody? This is Urban J Reviews and today we're gonna to take a look at how to measure radiation around your house using a dosimeter. You can also get a Geiger counter, but I'm just gonna use this dosimeter right here. Let's go ahead and dive in here and take a look at how this all works. This conversation about 5G, fifth generation wireless upgrade from fourth generation wireless, 4G, you know, people are concerned about how much radiation is going to be around them. So I'm going to kind of paint the picture of things you need to know about 4G and 5G and also about radiation around your house. Dispel some myths, rumors, and put the ball in your court so you can control and know how much radiation is really around you with one of these. I'm going to go around my house and show you guys, but before I do, I'm going to give you guys some information so you're prepared. All right, so around your house, you're going to have magnetic field levels of appliances and um, common kitchen appliances that have a lot more radiation than others. So things around your house, you can see your rate, your microwave is going to be your most uh, radiating device. Uh, things like your washer and dryer, they also radiate. Uh, this computer here, I put my uh, uh, um, meter up to the, uh, my DOSA meter up to the computer, and you can see I got a, a little bit of a reading off that. But further back, it's not really radiating anything, so that would tell me that it's safe. Now, um, I'm not gonna sit here and say it's absolutely safe because this is just a tool that's telling me uh, how much milligoss is in the air, but you can see around the house, if you guys wanted this, I'll put a link to this particular diagram so you can get a look at this and how to uh, tell around your house what could be causing radiation. Now, let me just also dial something in here. You guys might wanna know, what's the difference between a Geiger counter and a personal radiation detector like a dosimeter? So a Geiger counter, named after Hans Geiger, a German scientist from the early 1900s who worked on detecting radiation. So what basically a Geiger counter does is it tells you how much radiation is in the air around you, whereas a dosimeter can give you the actual reading off an appliance or a piece of equipment. Whereas a Geiger counter is more the macro around you uh, environment. So you could kind of want both because, uh, you know, whatever the situation is, why you would need both. You know, it could be like, I don't know, you're coming out of your bunker for the first time. You're like, is it safe to go out here, guys? You know, uh, whereas with this, if you wanted to know an individual uh, appliance. So anyway, that's the difference between a Geiger counter and a dosimeter. I will put a link to a Geiger counter and a dosimeter in the description. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look around the house and see what exactly is uh, radiating. Okay, so I'm gonna be using this by uh, Materic. This is a dosimeter, you can use this. It's a handheld, it's a mini. It's only $32, but this is a great starting point. I will put a link in the description, but I'm gonna show you how this works really simply so you know. Okay, so as we all know, a microwave is one of the most radiating appliances around your house. You'll see as it's radiating, you can see how much milligoss it's letting off. And if you wanted to stop this noise, you just hit the power button. But you can see this is definitely the most radiating device in the house. So I've already done a little bit of homework for you. I'll tell you where the other stuff the hot zones are. Look at this, the Wi-Fi router, this Google Wi-Fi router. Look at how much is coming off that. But, how about right here? Oh wow, still radiating. So then when you come over here, not so bad. And if you come over here to something like a light switch, it's got a little bit of uh, milligoss coming off of it. How about an iPad? Kind of dirty, but not too much. I also noticed the cell phone doesn't really radiate too much. How about this? Well, I'm sure if I turned it on. Okay, so I've turned it on. Connected. Let's see. You can see when it talks or when it plays sound, it does radiate some milligoss. Toaster. Let's go ahead and turn it on and see if that changes anything. Oh, wow, look at that. So you can see, you can get some pretty good reading. All right, how about an antenna? Close it. Awesome. So, how about a TV? Not too bad, how about an antenna? 
Still not too much. All right, so if you guys wanted to see what's radiating around your house, whether it be your microwave or your Wi-Fi router, I'll go ahead and put a link to this, uh, the cheap one, the mini. I'll put one to a higher grade one that I would get and the Geiger counter. So right now, all you need is really this mini. So I'll put a link to all three just in case you're looking on Amazon. Thanks for watching this channel, subscribing, and we'll see you on the next one.